Hey guys, it's Arit here. Let's talk about some foundational pieces of how to create success as an artist for you. And when I talk about artists, you know, you might be a painter, a musician, a designer, a photographer. What we're going to talk about in this video is going to apply in any of those industries. These are the key pieces that when I look back on the successes that I've created in my own music career, from uh, creating my, my first album, to singing on stage for the first time, to signing uh, with, a, with a label, to um, going across Canada on tour, I can easily see these things were present at that time. So let's go over those five key things. I want you to use this video as an, a checklist or an evaluation to see where you're at. If you're doing these things, awesome. If you're not, then ask yourself how you can apply these to what you're doing right now. So let's get started. Number one, successful artists have a vision. They're working towards a bigger goal, a dream of theirs but it's a tangible goal. It's something that they can see that they can achieve and they want it so badly. The fact is about setting goals is that it provides you with direction. So if you're not someone who sets goals, then you are likely going in all different directions. If you have a clear goals, right? So when I was first starting out in my music career, I had a clear goal that I wanted to perform in front of hundreds of people. And that to me at the time was absurd. Um, and you know now that's just something that I've completely surpassed but at the time it was crazy I had that goal in mind and I always thought about it and I wanted it so badly because I had that direction it was easier for me to see other opportunities and and it was easier for me to take in other resources that helped me fulfill that goal. I was able to recognize that those opportunities were in front of me and that they would pull me towards achieving that goal. Number two, successful artists focus on their work with obsession. And obsession meaning like they're persistent in what they do, they're consistent so that they do it all the time. They're just so focused on their work that nothing else matters and they would do it all day every day even if they're not getting paid so this is something that comes out of passion you know you need to be extremely passionate about what you do but also be very focused and it's very hard to be focused sometimes because there's you know life happens distractions happen other things take priority but successful artists treat their art as priority as top priority and that's what allows them to continue working on it every single day and that's what allows them to pull through those challenges and those humps that come about in being an artist the third key point to being a successful artist is you gotta 10x your work there is a ton of competition out there there is a ton of other artists ton of other photographers musicians and everybody is kind of doing the same thing you know because we're all seeing what other people are doing with social media with the internet we're able to see what other people are doing and so we join in but the thing is if you're joining in you're part of that competition and you are needing to work harder to really stand out so look at what everyone else is doing but ask yourself how can you do better so see what the best people are doing and don't stop there. Ask yourself, how can you do better? How can you 10x this? So not just 10xing your work in terms of putting the best effort into your work, but 10xing what you're doing for your enterprise. How are you marketing yourself? How are you getting more visibility? When I first started marketing online, I saw YouTube as a huge opportunity for my music career. I saw other artists doing cover videos, music videos, and so I thought I could do the same thing, and I did, but how do I do this better? So I, instead of just doing like the raw kind of cover videos, in my mind what I thought was better was to do really professionally well done cover videos. So I'd hire a whole film crew to do a cover, and it would be like a music video, a full-on music video, but it would be a cover song. 
then I started putting out different um, episodes. It would be kind of like a, a TV show. They would be called or read TV episodes where I would allow my fans to follow me on my music journey. So what I was doing on tour, what I was doing for this music video shoot, how I was writing a song, all of these different things. So really think about how you can stand out from everyone else. How can you 10X your work and go above and beyond? Number four, successful artists aren't afraid to take on new opportunities that come their way. So when a new opportunity hits your lap, don't start to question all of the things of what, why you shouldn't take that opportunity. You know, don't let your mind go into that negative hole of um, starting to doubt whether you can even do this, starting to question why this opportunity was put in front of you, or, you know, all of these things, these thoughts that can come into our head after a great opportunity is put onto our plate. You really want to put your mind in a positive state and ask yourself, number one, does this opportunity serve me? So is it something that's going to get me closer to my vision, my goal? And number two, how can I make this work? Say yes to the opportunities that come your way, especially if you're first starting out. And you know, you might have heard of how you need to say no to a lot of things. Part of being successful is saying no, and I absolutely agree with that. But what I'm saying here is say yes to the opportunities that are in line with your goal and your vision. Everything else is a distraction. And number five, the final piece here to this foundation that we're building together and one of the most critical is that successful artists understand that they are a business. You are a business. You're not just someone who creates, but you need to be someone who markets, who knows how to sell, who understands what it means to create customer relationships. Understanding that you are a business might just be that switch that needs to be flipped inside of you. One of your biggest challenges as an artist is that people don't know about you. They don't know who you are. You're obscure, you know, you, nobody knows you. So in order to get to that place where people know who you are, they know what you're doing, they recognize your talent, they appreciate their work, your work, and they want a part of that. To get to that point, you need to be good at marketing. The foundation of Esatino Artists, our business, is teaching artists mindset plus marketing, really hammering in those two things because those are the keys to successes in your, in your work. If you don't have a marketing strategy in place, then you are robbing yourself of success. Other people won't find out about you if you're not putting yourself out there. So make sure you know who your audience is, you know where they are, and you can use that platform to market on. Make sure you know what they like so you can offer that value to them. And do it on a consistent basis so that you can stay top of mind. This is the whole reason why we created our online course, Social Media Marketing Simplified for Artists. And you know, if you need um, some push and shove towards starting to market online or improving what you're already doing, then I highly recommend checking it out. We have over 3,600 students enrolled in this course who are benefiting from creating a solid 30-day marketing plan and applying it to their business. You know, we have designers here, we have musicians, we have all different types of artists who are benefiting from the strategies learned here. It is basically designed to build an action plan for you so you can start marketing online, but in a way that's still manageable. It is originally $199 um, and this sale is only going to be expiring in a few days on the 15th. So if you're watching this video after March 15th, 2016, then it might be some other price right now. But just check out the course. Here's a little look into what it is. I'll provide a link down in the description below. As you can see, there's lots of great sections. We, we will start off with the preliminary work and you know setting goals and, and um, some mindset stuff, identifying who your audience is. Then we'll go into creating great content, what makes great content, the different types of content. We'll show you examples as well. Um, 
The next section is uh, getting online, so setting up your social media. We go through Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube, and uh, how to set all of those things up, examples for how to use all of those, and get, it, get posting is the next section. So building your publishing plan, putting everything that you've learned into place and launching it, and being able to plan it plan your time accordingly so you can market consistently and not have these these periods of time that go by where you haven't posted anything and you feel kind of bad. So if this looks helpful to you, please uh, go ahead, check it out. I'll put the link down below, as I said. And let me know if you enjoyed this video that you're watching right now. If I provided any value to you at all, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would also love to hear from you. So comment down below with your questions and feedback. That would be great. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm very grateful that I get to share this information that I learned with you. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening and I will see you in the next one. Bye.